Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 111 of the Iron series and please enjoy today's episode. So there has been a recent update where they allow you to upgrade this uh, sack here. So currently this sack maxes out 100 uh, ores that it can hold but if you upgrade it using 200 nuggets you can actually uh, get it up to 160-ish. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. Yes, bigger sack please. Ah, there we go. So I guess this will just make mining here a bit more convenient, so that's always nice. Oh snap, here we go, just editing uh, episode 110 right now. And I got the 80 mining guys. Big, big deal, because not only is it another level 80 skill, uh, I pretty much have all the master clue skill requirements done. Um, if you, you know, count the boosting, so I plan on getting the last five levels here still, but yeah, really nice, man. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I was just talking about that. Oh man, guess what? Sammy is completed. I mean, that's another God Wars boss item set under my belt. Alright. <laughs> so all that's left is Bandos and Armadillo. But it was fun. Uh, how many KC did we end up getting? 423 KC. Okay. That's a fair amount of Zami boss grinding, honestly. There we go. That was fast. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The day has come, hasn't it? No. Fucking way. Dragon Harpoon, man. Oh man, not expected at all. Completely unexpected. Well, cool. That's my second ever uh, solo raids item, man. I can I can definitely be proud of this. Hmm, what can I be using this for? I, I guess I could give this uh, a try. You know, catching sharks with this, but I much prefer. Uh, Anglerfish, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna give sharks a go now that I have myself here the uh, dragon harpoon I'm gonna take a break from these flax. I will definitely finish these last uh, 30 ish thousand sometime, but I need to do some more fast-paced crafting. I got lots of gems from raids So I'm just gonna craft all of these. I'll definitely turn some of these into rings I plan on turning all of these actually into uh, recoil rings because of the armadillo uh, experiments with the ring of recoil so that's gonna be pretty interesting to see so let's go get some fast craft XP I'm 300k to 90 so I'm almost done cutting all the uh, sapphires this is going by really fast but that's cool man 120k an hour too bad really can't sustain even an hour's uh, worth of this though cuz yeah it goes by so fast but um, I'm gonna probably take a little break from all this PV. I mean, though, I've been going so hard the past few days, and uh, it's a nice time to be getting this dragon harpoon because I'm gonna go ahead and test out this bad boy at the fishing guild. Dang, 160k an hour, man, cutting uh, emeralds. That's a big leap from sapphires, that's for sure. So, guys, it has been an hour, and uh, I knew it wasn't gonna be too crazy. So yeah, 17.5k experience an hour, so it must have been somewhere between like 14 to 15k an hour normally. And don't get me wrong, my fishing level is pretty high too. And in an hour, I caught 159 raw sharks. What in the world, man. I really want to use the dragon harpoon more, but honestly, Jesus. I don't want to spend my time catching sharks anymore when I can do angler fish, right? Even the harpoon just is not gonna cut it. So, so it's Thursday, so a bunch of uh, updates have come out, mostly quality of life. But there's one update that's kind of crazy in my opinion, and that's the one where the trident of the sea slash toxic trident uh, is now able to uh, be influenced by 120 plus stats. Before, I think it capped at like below it. So it wasn't able to hit like the theoretical max, but yeah with overload you can go 120 magic and now it should be able to scale the damage all the way to 120 magic with uh, this bad boy. So it should make raids a bit easier, especially at the on fight. So let's see if it does. 
Damn, I just hit a 40 with the Trident of the Seas. Okay, I don't think I've ever hit a 40 with this setup before uh, pre-update. So it is definitely allowing me to kill this boss a bit faster, for sure. Whoa, 42! I thought this cap would only make this thing uh, slightly more powerful with the Toxic Trident, but holy shit, this is a lot better than before with this update. Jesus, overload is crazy now. Oh man, how could I forget about this other update that they uh, did? So now with pets, uh, you can actually have them falling around you. And uh, basically, there's an option somewhere here that I'm able to like toggle. So I just gotta go find it. Oh, here it is, it's here. So if I click on this, then I should not be able to click on the Zilly. So that means when I go doing stuff and having the pet around, it's not annoying, you know, to do that because look, I can't really, you know, accidentally interrupt my action. I guess I'm going to be fashion scaping a bit with my pet for a lot of places. Rates is safe, so I don't have to pay any money if I lose it. Here we go. Armadillo pastry. All right, still got that nice haku look, yo. After many, many, multiple crafting training sessions later, hammering out those flax, flaxing out, I guess you could say, and uh, yeah, lots of days has gone by ever since I, I said, hey, I'm gonna get that 90 crafting for the bracelets, and here it is, guys, 90 crafting completed, guys, and yes, I was doing rubies, and Wow, these are some dream XP rates, dude. 200k, oh my goodness, that's insane. But yes, that is another level 90 skill. And at this level, I could just make the Fury, but obviously I made that 85. And of course, the whole big deal is to make this Xanite bracelet and uh, get myself the best in slot uh, magic gloves. But it's time to go ahead and make myself the bracelet. So I got myself the Xanite and uh, actually I don't have an onyx but luckily for me I do have a lot of topple and I'm pretty sure I have enough to uh, actually buy myself an onyx from the store so even with the Karamja Club discount it's 260k topple to buy the onyx from the store so I'm gonna go ahead and sell some runes real quick and get the last 10,000 Luckily for me, I have so many chaos runes from I don't even know what probably barrels that Yeah, I can uh, Basically sell them without having to worry about losing them. So 260k got it And there it is ah, The onyx. This is my first time actually Buying an onyx from this store in all my accounts. So uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Honestly Yep, got it That is nice so somebody asked me how they can get their Gugu's back after Monkey Madness 2 because uh, the guy that usually gives it back, uh, Zook Nuke, he's actually not in the dungeon anymore, he's actually in this house. And the cool thing is after Monkey Madness 2, you can just ask for the Monkey Talismans. You don't need to bring the stuff. So I just need to get myself a, a zombie one, so there you go that's it <laughs> yep no ingredients you just ask for any of them really nice i need this so i can uh, make the xanite so all right let's do this this is gonna be my third time making the xanite yes fuse them together please there we go round uh six. Oh, i got it yes yes Ooh, that didn't take too too long right there xanite bracelet mmm Mm, that is nice oh beautiful okay let's go and uh, get the runes for this 2020 right ah right there enchant the Zenit bracelet and there it is tormented bracelet guys all right gonna take off all the stuff that gives stats oh wait all right this is good enough so here's the stats on the tormented bracelet plus 10 magic and the plus five percent magic damage so that's a pretty pretty good uh, item to be using especially if you're doing anything mage related so i would definitely bring this to on fight for sure and uh, it also has a nice plus two prayer um, normally gloves don't give you prayer bonuses so 
that is quite nice honestly you know that prayer bonus can definitely come a long way especially during long fights like Ohm where you do mage pretty much like half the time so so these are my current three Xana items so there's only four and I'm missing the last one and that's the torture also another very good item as well so that's gonna be another interesting skilling grind coming up in the near future okay oh Yo, I told you, Waf! I wanna say congratulations to Waf Man for finally getting his first ever race item in his name. Like, you're not gonna believe this, but this is true. This man, he did 227 raids and has not gotten a single item in his name until that day, which was yesterday. So, I'm really proud of him, man. He's a really good PVM partner, and he definitely deserved it. And of course, Dexterous Prayer Scroll's gotta be a pretty damn good first reward for anybody uh, doing raids, so that is also nice to see. And since we split everything when we do raids, I managed to get, I think uh, it was 60 mil on my main account. The Dex Scroll sold for around 120, so yeah, that's a pretty good 60 mil in the main account bank, so that's really nice. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh my god! Holy shit! What the fuck? Are you serious? Jesus Christ! What? So it turned out nobody really sold the insignia as an insignia. What they would do is they buy a master wand for like uh, quite a bit of mills and they combine it together to make the cold I want. And that sells for 75 mils. Since I don't have the wand, I'm just giving WAF the split of the insignia without the wand price. So that was 34 mil. But tonight's raid was crazy. I've never seen more than one item in one day doing raids. So that was an awesome raid night for sure. We got so many items this episode guys. Starting off with the Steam Battle Staff which allowed me to complete the Zami Galwa's item set all together. So that in itself I was like wow this was already a good episode as is. And then all of a sudden I managed to get my second ever solo raids item. And of course, you know, the Dragon Harpoon, a lot of people will gripe over this, but uh, I'm pretty happy about this. A unique item, so I would say it's pretty damn good for this account. And then, yesterday night, the crazy, crazy drops night at raids where I got the Kodai Insignia. So, this isn't the Kodai one yet, so I would have to spend about, I think anywhere from 7 to 8 hours grinding at the Mage Arena to get the Master Wand so that I can upgrade this into the cold I want I guess I could do that I mean the cold I want is nice it's basically the best in slot magic uh, staff in general in the game so that's crazy and a little fun fact this thing is basically in the same drop table as that of a twisted bow so they are equally rare so that's kind of interesting to see you know this could have been a twisted bow but you know I, I hate thinking about it like that you know this is a cold insignia and that's what we got so no complaints here but anyways i'm gonna be wrapping up today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video as usual if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with future episodes from this series and other videos then consider subscribing to the channel that way you know exactly when the next video comes out and of course if you enjoyed today's episode feel free to give it a like as well i would highly appreciate that other than that i hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days Take care and bye-bye.